Health Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and I am going to discuss about acute encephalitis today. As we all know, acute encephalitis is nothing but the inflammation of the brain. Now, there are several causes including viral infections, autoimmune inflammations, bacterial infections, even insect bites and various other factors. Now, sometimes the cause still remains unknown. Now, recently, similar cases have been caused by acute encephalitis, an immune-mediated CNS disorder, which is caused by autoantibodies targeting the surface, the synaptic or the intracellular autoantigens. Now, recognition of these disorders is of utmost importance as immunotherapy often leads to favorable clinical outcomes. Autoimmune limbic encephalitis is a subset of acute encephalitis which is often characterized by inflammation of the limbic cerebral cortex. Cognitive decline, behavioral disturbances as well as seizures are these classical cardinal manifestations. Now today I am going to talk about a study that was reported in the Journal of Associations of Physicians of India which studies a case report of a 70 year old man with subacute progressive gait imbalance, cognitive impairment as well as psychiatric manifestations. Now extensive serum and CSF investigations did not reveal any abnormality. The autoimmune and paraneoplastic encephalitis antibody panels were also negative. MRI as well as the PET brain scan suggested limbic encephalitis. Now, keeping all this coming to the diagnosis, he did respond very well to immunotherapy. Now, this case did illustrate that acute encephalitis must be suspected in the appropriate setting even in the absence of a specific antibody. So, these patients hence should be given the benefit of early immunotherapy. So, all the routine blood investigations, the venereal disease research lab, that is the HIV, vitamins B1, B12 as well as E, the thyroid profile and the thyroid antibodies in this particular patient were all found to be normal. His chest x-ray as well as the abdominal ultrasound was also normal. His systemic and paraneoplastic antibody as well as the tumor marker profiles were also negative. The MRI and the PET brain scans were normal. As his symptoms were mild and did not actually impact his daily activities, he was sent home. Unfortunately, he was lost to follow up for six months. So all this keeping this case brings the importance of remaining vigilant to the possibility of acute encephalitis even if the antibody panels are negative. The seronegative acute encephalitis hence can be diagnosed on clinical grounds along with ancillary investigations. So a delay in diagnosis leads to poor outcomes so a high index of suspicion is definitely required for its diagnosis. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.